Good afternoon everyone. Let's discuss about inverted files in information retrieval. Basically, there are three file structures which are used for classification of information retrieval. The first type is lexicographical indices which are sorted. The second one is clustered file structures and the third one is indices on hashing. Here, inverted files is a type of lexicographical index. The term lexicography is derived from the word lexicon which is used to sort the words in dictionaries and encyclopedias. Working of lexicographic index Lexicographic order was introduced for sorting entries in dictionaries and encyclopedias. Let us consider a finite set, say A, which is totally ordered. In dictionaries, A is the common alphabet ordered by the alphabetical order. The lexicographic order is a total order on the sequences of elements of A, often called as words on A, which is defined as follows. Now, let's say there are two different words of the same length, say A1, A2, AK and B1, B2, BK. If AI is less than BI, that is, if the first one is smaller than the second one for lexicographical order, then the first term would be A1, A2, AK and the next term would be B1, B2, BK in the dictionary. Suppose you have two words which are of different lengths. To compare sequences of different length, the shorter sequence is usually padded at the end with enough blanks. A blank is a special symbol that is treated as smaller than every element of A. This way of comparing sequences of different lengths is always used in dictionaries. Here, the first smaller term would be the first word in the dictionary, the second smaller term would be the second word and so on. Next, moving over to inverted files. Inverted files are nothing but sorted indices which was discussed previously. Inverted files are just records which are added to the database. When you place a query to the database, what the computer searches is actually the inverted file and not the records themselves. An inverted file is generally built on each field of the data structure. In other words, if your database has fields for color, height, composition and price, an inverted file will be built on each of those four fields. The inverted file is created by the database software. It's not something that you as the database designer have to do. This process is often called indexing the field and the inverted file is referred as index. The inverted file extracts all the words from each field for each record entered into the database and sorts them into the alphabetical order. Stop words such as the, an, of, and that is, and other words which have no substantive meaning and occur very frequently are not included in the inverted file. The inverted file contains all the words from a particular field and in addition, it provides pointers back to the records from which they came. So once the computer has located the word, say green in the inverted file, it then has the information about which records to retrieve. Now let's see an example. The first table shows that there are four documents namely D1, D2, D3 and D4. The next table shows the occurrences of all the words in each document. In table 1, the first column lists the document IDs and the second column lists the text. In table 2, the first column lists the word extracted from the document text and the second column lists the document IDs. In other words, the first column of table 1 becomes the second column in table 2 and the second column in table 1 becomes the first column in table 2. So this example is just to show you that the words in the second table are ordered alphabetically which is lexicographic indexing which is otherwise inverted files and the second column in the second table acts as a pointer that is it points to the document where the word occurs. Data structures used in inverted files. There are several data structures which are used in implementing inverted files. They are sorted arrays, B trees, price, and various other hashing structures, a combination of these structures are used to implement inverted files. The first three of these structures are sorted indices, which is lexicographically sorted, and this can efficiently support a wide range of queries. Sorted Arrays An inverted file implemented as a sorted array structure, it stores the list of keywords in a sorted array, including the number of documents associated with each keyword and the link to the document containing that keyword. This array is commonly searched using a standard binary search, although large secondary storage based systems will often adapt the array to the characteristics of their secondary storage. 
The main disadvantage of this approach is that updating the index, for example, appending a new keyword. Say you add a new keyword to the already existing sorted array structure. Here, the document and the link to the document has to be created, which is an expensive and a time consuming process. On the other hand, sorted arrays are easy to implement and are reasonably fast. Trice Inverted files can also be implemented using a trice structure. This structure uses the digital decomposition of the set of keywords to represent those keywords. A special trice structure, the Patricia or the path tree, is especially useful in information retrieval. Next, we'll see how to build an inverted index. Building an inverted index for maintaining any kind of searching system requires you to perform a series of steps while parsing the pages or documents. Let's have a walkthrough while constructing our own search engine. <coughs> Algorithm. The first step is to fetch the document. The job is really simple if I get a text file, but in case if I get a document or a PDF, then I need to parse them using some libraries to retrieve the text. Let's say I'm successful in reading the text. What next? The second step is to remove the stop words. Consider the previous example. The important words we were looking for will be like best, blue, bright and butterfly. But most of the other words say in, a, uh, and, to and other such words are just a waste. We denote these words as stop words and remove them from the list. The third step is to stem to the root word. That is, whenever I want to search the word retrieval, I want to search the document that has information about it. But if the word in the document present is retrieved and not retrieval, then I have to relate both the words. I have to chop some part of each and every word I read so that I could get the root word. Here, retrieval may become retrieve. So I have to be sure about the rules to chop the words. The fourth step is to record document IDs. Every document I have will have a unique ID. As I encounter a non-stop word, say best or a butterfly, which is the previous example, I'd save it into the memory as follows. Here, taking the word retrieve. In the first document, if the word retrieve occurs, then the document ID would be doc ID 104007. And in the second document, if the word retrieve is present, then the document ID would be doc ID 154033. Then I have to combine them into a single text which is as follows that is retrieve doc ID 104007 and doc ID 15033. Finally, you have to merge and sort the items. That is, I'll save all of them in disk file. It is great if we sort the index based on the words for quick and easy retrieval. This obviously needs some specific data structures such as sorted arrays and tries as discussed previously to simplify your job. Summary. Inverted files is nothing but it is a type of lexicographical index. Lexicographic index is used in dictionaries to sort terms in alphabetic order. Trice, sorted arrays and other hashing structures are the specific data structures which are used to implement inverted files. To build an inverted file, you need to fetch the document, remove the stop words, stem to the root word, record the document ID and merge and sort the items. Thank you.